Hey guys, Liz Peepitoe here. I want to talk to you today about a topic um, that I actually made jotted some, down some notes about it when I was on vacation a few weeks ago and um, just now getting around to doing a live video on it. So the topic is stop starting over. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Um, I, hey Jane, um, I actually see this a whole, whole lot in my business and I also see it and have personally experienced it a lot with my physical fitness. So what do I mean by this? And, and, um, so is there something in your life that, good morning, love, um, is there something in your life that you need to be, um, uh, that you've started quite a few times and you've stopped quite a few times like maybe it's like I said maybe it's a new a, a business venture or maybe it's your physical fitness or maybe it is getting organized or maybe it's I don't know I don't know um, a person something with, with your personal development okay so let's just go with those three a business physical fitness or organization okay so what happens a lot of times with us is that we have this really, um, we have this uh, goal and we hit it super duper hard, something that's like unreasonable to sustain and we hit it really hard for maybe a day, a week, even a month and we don't get the results that we want and we quit. And yet we still have that goal. I'm going to use my own personal experience with physical fitness. So over the past few years, I have gone to the gym and gone to the gym and gone to the gym and, um, you know, tried to get healthy and get strong and then I'd quit. And then I'd do something at home or I'd do, you know, Zumba at home or whatever and then I would quit. So what changed for me back in the fall, late, really early winter, was my dad getting diagnosed with cancer and then um, I decided that I had to partner with someone to help me uh, reach that goal and for it to become sustainable. And it was really funny because um, at the beginning, for those of you who fo have followed my Facebook page, um, in January I had Liz in 60. I did 60 days where I just like would keep you all po keep you all posted of all my workouts and everything. And honestly, I had in my head that in 60 days I was going to have this major transformation with my body. And about halfway through it, the 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 friend that was working out with me, she said, "Liz, you understand that this is not a 60 day deal." you probably are not going to get the results that you want to see for six months to a year. And I was like, huh, I never really thought about it. I was already like 30 days in and I was like, I'll give it six months to a year. So now that I'm six months into it, I'm just now, literally guys, I'm just now six months after consistently working out for, you know, at least four times a week, I'm just now starting to see changes in my body. I'm over 40 and it just takes a little bit longer. <laughs> With when you're when you're over 40. So that's my first um, But I want you to kind of make the understanding is hitting it hard and overkill is probably not going to give you the results that you want Okay, so my my first the first thing is I want you to set realistic Expectations, so I have an idea. I have an idea. And I just want you to try it and See how it works. What if It's gonna take you six months because I hear a lot of people say, oh, it would only take six weeks to form a new habit. Mm. No, you're going to quit after six weeks if you're not getting the results. If you think that in six weeks you're going to have massive results, you may be able, you know, you may be in a good routine by six weeks, but res really good results and pretty much anything in life is going to take some time. Um, I heard a business developer yesterday that said in order to become really proficient or an expert in, in, a, in, in a business related um, field, it takes about 10,000 hours. 10,000 hours. Okay. Totally rabbit trail. Okay. So what if it's going to take you six months and what if you go ahead and just set your goal for six months? So whether it be a business goal, a fitness goal, or getting your home organized or whatever your goal is, set a six month goal. So what am I talking about here? Today is July 25th. So what is that? August, September, October, November, December, January 25th. So set your goal. I am going to commit to it. I am going to, um, work out 
and make it something reasonable that you know that you can do, I'm gonna work out three times a week for six months. If I don't feel better or see results by January 25th, I give myself permission to quit. So that's a realistic goal, okay? Um, then you make a plan. You go like join a gym and you decide what days you're gonna work out. You put on your workout clothes so you don't have an excuse not to go. So make your plan. Set a six month goal, make a plan, and then number three is no excuses. It's just time to implement it. It's no excuses. Quit making excuses. Excuses are nothing more than well formed lies. You're lying to yourself, you're lying to the future, you're lying to your goal. So just don't do it. Just don't make excuses about it. Um, I want to tell you really quick if those of you that know me, you know, I've been a nurse for 22 years, and for the last um, 13 years, I've helped moms with breastfeeding. And so um, one of the things I would have a mom do is write out on a piece of paper the words, I commit to breastfeeding. It's 22 letters, and the first three weeks of breastfeeding are hell. They're hell. You're tired, the baby's cranky, you're getting things figured out. They're just not, not fun, okay? So I tell them to write the words, I commit to breastfeeding, and every day mark off a letter. And um, that helps them like no okay after, and i tell them after three weeks it does get easier but it's not going to just magically get easier in those first three weeks it does get easier after three weeks so that like gives them something to work towards i know okay i'm seven days in and this is really sucking but liz says it at 21 22 days it's going to start getting better so i'm working towards it so again that i just wanted to kind of reinforce that if you give yourself a realistic goal like six months with your wellness with whatever six months is 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 a good amount of time to figure things out and to see if it's gonna work for you okay make an appointment with yourself at the same time every yes make an appointment with yourself at the same time every day Jane that's a very very good tip you are worth it you are worthy and you are worth it your physical well-being your peace is so worth it so make an appointment absolutely make it a priority especially as mamas we tend to like not make our bodies and not make our our needs a priority we put our kids first and our kids first and our kids first and then we end up unhappy right so yes we are worthy we are important okay that's all i have um i hope you enjoyed this if you enjoyed it please share it with your friends and um, if you if you haven't friend requested me or uh, followed my page, be sure to do that. I try to um, you know go live and give give some inspiration at least once a week. Um, just something that's on my heart, something that I'm processing and working through, and I hope it blesses somebody out there. All right, guys, bye bye.